Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio Trying to find a gap in the wind. I might have found one. Bit of a tailwind. Oh no. Hey, how are you? Monday. Easter Monday. Post work noodle. I'm gonna show you what I like to do after work. What I'm not commuting back and forth. Gonna take you into the into the farmlands that are out here in Canada. It's a part of Greater Ottawa. Not a bad day. It's still windy. AF. It's about seven or eight degrees. Join me, won't you? As we bang out this 40k ride. <sighs> please be a tailwind on the way back. Please, 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 please. Now, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you would know I struggled to hold a zone two heart rate consistently, mostly because of the wind. In fact, 100% due to the wind. So today I'm going to try and do the same. Try and hold that zone two HR. I'm riding the Velo Orange Rando today. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been on her, it. It's an awesome ride. So comfy. Gotta love those French style bends in the fork. Yeah, so the plan, zone two HR. Right now I'm at uh, 131, slightly elevated because I'm talking to you probably. And uh, you can probably hear it's, it is breezy. Now, what may prevent me today from doing a zone two HR is more the gradient. Damn. I need a gilet. It's a little roller-esque. You know, 0%, up to around two, down, up again, down, up again. Oh yeah, love it. But I'm gonna do my best. Got a dinner plate on the back. I should be fine. Look. Listen. It's so quiet. I feel I should almost whisper to you. Okay, I'm at the uh, turnaround point. I uh, did a bunch of rollers. I think I pushed into a cross headwind. That's what I'm hoping for. I've made the turn. I am on uh, the corner of Vance's and Sixth Line. A couple of things about this ride so far. Uh, it's windy. Yeah, I mentioned that. Heart rate, yeah, I'm keeping it pretty low. 113 right now. Zone 2. Happy with that so far. Fingers crossed, tailwind, or at least a cross tailwind on the way home. That'll be great. Also, as it is Easter Monday, it is pretty quiet vis-a-vis -vis traffic. Uh, which is great. I know a car just went past, but I hadn't seen a car in a while. That is another good thing about riding out here in the farmlands. So just over yonder is Ottawa's high-tech park where I work, Canada. Used to be built up around Bell Northern Research, which later became Nortel. Lots of spin-off companies, Sienna's here, Ericsson's here, Huawei, all those big telecom companies. But just a stone's throw from that utopia is this utopia. How great is this? Got no hills, I think, over there. Lovely roads. Usually pretty quiet. Sure. One or two rednecks. But what are you gonna do? You can't have it all, my friends. Let's keep going. A couple of things that I'm contending with on today's ride. Little niggly things. Um, 
I find these early season rides when you throw on some kit that you're not usually uh, used to wearing I'm speaking about winter bib tights or just uh, bibs I tend to suffer a little bit of a saddle sore problems a little bit of chafing I've talked about that before maybe a little bit too much but yeah the chafing sucks I saw a story the other day I don't know if it's true or not it must have been true it was on the internet but some guy had saddle sores he got infected and he and he ended up with um, flesh eating disease so let's keep an eye on those saddle sores people the other thing that's a uh, a little less graphic. I changed the pedals on the Vela Orange. I've got some uh, Shimano Durace road pedals on here. So I had to change the cleats. And uh, yeah, you know what it's like when you change cleats? It's always a, it's an exercise in uh, micro adjustments. So when I'm pushing it, I find that my ankle is banging up against the crank a little bit. I tend to over pronate on the left side, so I think I'm okay. I did bring a tool, but I think I'm okay till I get back to the office and then the adjustments will begin. All done. This is part one, wrapped up. I'm gonna try and get a ride in tomorrow. It's actually supposed to be windier tomorrow. So today is about an 18 kilometer per hour headwind. Uh, it was kind of a cross headwind. It was a sweet ride back, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this bad boy. I can't say enough good things about this Velo Orange Rando. It's been on three longish rides with me so far. It just sucks up the chatter. It is just so buttery smooth. Um, it's kind of hard to put into words how fantastic a bike that is. I'm so, so happy with it. Velo Orange Rando. Not sponsored, people. That's my own shekels. 33 Panaracer Gravel Kings on there. TLCs. Tubeless compatible. Running about 50, 60 PSI, I could probably go a little bit softer and it would be an even better ride, if you can believe it. Wow, I should get one of these for Linda. Don't put any comments in the comments that I should do that, because she reads the comments. Part one, wrapped up. Let's do this again tomorrow. I may look a little different, but the stash will be here. Part two, the original intent of part two was to do the counterclockwise loop of what I did in part one to show you my post work workout. I mentioned to you in a previous vlog that winter or the last vestiges of winter were holding on. That was in relation to the temperature. It wasn't in relation to this. Let me show you exactly what happened between then and now.
Yeah, that's right. This happened. It's royally shit out here. What can I say? I live in the frozen north. It's spring. This, this is spring. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is it. I, I, I do. I think this is the end of winter. I say that with uh, much trepidation. I had put the uh, shoveling implements away because I thought winter was over. I will need to dig them out again. I'm going inside to cry a little bit and then get on the trainer. 